people are talking about something that took place at what is it? SGC Globe Aids Park. What's is that it? Globe Balls Booger Field. What's what's the Rangers Stadium? The stadium that they just built after having like a fairly new stadium, but they forgot to build a roof. Oh, Globe Life Field. There was a chant that started in the ninth inning that wasn't loud enough to make the television broadcast, but a couple of fans that were in the outfield did catch this audio, which was eventually acknowledged by Fox right after the Rangers officially eliminated the Orioles. with a 2-1 to one lead in the series over the Twins. This crowd started to chant, We want Houston. <laughs> Will it be a battle of Texas? A battle for the American League? You know, there's a part of me that wants to crush the Rangers for this. More so Rangers fans. I mean, they don't know how baseball works. Oh, Paul, you don't know how baseball works either. That's potentially true, but hey, I think we got to focus on ourselves. You know what? If they want Houston, they can get Houston. They can come on down the road. I also kind of like that it's just the thing that baseball teams do now is like chant, we want Houston. Yep. It's like, I mean, it's Alabama football. Like that that's what the Houston Astros are in the baseball playoffs. It is what every everyone measures themselves against the Houston Astros and eventually they're going to chant we want Houston and some team is going to be right about it. Some team will be able to they won't get thrown back in their face. In a weird way with all of the BS that we have sat through when it comes to the Astros were the only team that was stealing signs elaborately. It's the only kind of respect that you're going to get from other fan bases. You know, that is essentially them tipping their hat. Yeah. Now, five years later, the Astros are still better than all these teams. It's the kind of tipping of the hat, Sean, that a drunk person does to somebody with cauliflower ear at a bar. Oh, yeah. You know, it's... It's asking for trouble. And the cauliflower ear guy probably doesn't want to get in a squab. He's trying his best to bite his tongue because yeah. he doesn't want to go to jail. His hands are registered weapons. Right. Which is a real thing. That's got to suck. Like you train all of your life and you become a great martial artist. And and then you can't fight guys at bars. No. What the hell's up with that? <laughs> It's ridiculous. I, just go in. I'm not just sure. go in fist blazing. I don't pow, think, pow, I don't pow. Think, I don't think your hands actually get registered as lethal weapons. I don't think that's a real thing. I think that's something from the movie Con Air. I think I, I don't think that's no, a real thing. No, I think thing. it is. I no, I, 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 Sean. I actually think, in a way, it is. So, I don't know. If it's, so once you get to a certain, so hold on. So once you get to a certain level of, do you have to be a black belt? Do you? Can you be a red belt? Can you be whatever is below a We're going to have to figure this belt? out. Are there any MMA people at listening? What, at what time do you have to go to a government building, lay your hands on the table, <laughs> and say, these are registered weapons? Here's here's my here's my you know sensei who can uh, come vouch for how deadly these hands are. That's a great question. And with some people, too, like it's not believable. Say, Steven Seagal coming into the office to register his... I, I'm picturing the DMV. I, I know it it has nothing to do with hands or vehicles, but uh, yeah, I picture you have to go into a DMV-like thing. and It doesn't matter what discipline, because like if you're a boxer, you don't get like belts, or you do get belts, yeah, but you don't get like black belts. Right, because yeah, jujitsu is the crazy one because you're fighting on your back. Yeah, that's like grappling, but that's not like, your hands aren't the register weapons, your entire body. Yeah, is the registered like weapon. Your upper quads would be the registered weapon? That sounds sexual. Your forearms? Your your shoulder? My forearms would never be registered weapons. No. No, little 22s. <laughs> Are they even that? Pew, pew. <laughs> it's like those little pop gun ar- guns that the Oklahoma shoots whenever they score a touchdown. <laughs> it's, it's Yeah, there's red tips on your uh, forearms. Mm. Uh. Mega said his best friend's dad was a pro boxer. Some guy started to bleep with him at a bar, and when he fell, he hit his head on something and died. He went to jail for a little while. Yeah, like that's that, that, that's from Con Air, too. 
<laughs> it is Sean. That's very similar to the Con Air story. But in Con Air, the death is is weirdly. Oh yeah, because he like palm strikes him in the nose, and his the guy's nose bone goes backwards into his brain and kills. Him, right, which is like such a convoluted way to kill someone. Right, where usually it is someone falling, and because they have martial arts yeah. training before. Then it turns into, yeah, jail time. I've heard multiple stories about this. So I think you do have to register. And, you know, registering hands. Why would you ever register then? The Astros have registered hands. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Well, uh, Sean. Jose Abreu's bet is a registered weapon. Sean, we can't all be Nick Offerman's character in uh, Parks and Rec. Um, how am I forgetting his name? Ron uh, Swanson. We can't be Ron Swanson living off the grid and just going straight libertarian at all times. I know you want to no. live in a log cabin somewhere, but you have to register your weapons. You but, have to protect the citizens. No, I, I think I just don't understand the upside for the martial artist that has to go again to a courthouse somewhere. There is no upside, and, but you, you probably just have, you have to do to, it. Then why do you do it? You can just walk around with a cauliflower ear because, and then be like, oh, gee, lucky shot. Because guns don't kill people. Hands kill people. <laughs> If it's on the gun, especially. Hands, hands can do a lot of things, Paul. Hands. Oh, don't. Hands you don't have just, to tell me twice. Hand, hand, <laughs> I'll keep them, as long as you keep them to yourself, that's fine. They can do a lot of things, all right? They're tools. It's true. They're tools. <laughs> Paul a lot bad, It's a bad person with hands that you have to worry about. <laughs> that is so true. Thanks for the wisdom.